let's look at this question cones are placed at uh, e which is 0 comma 6 so your coordinate e the coordinate of e is 0 comma 6 so this is your point e okay and f which is 3 comma 4 this is 3 comma 4 which is f <coughs> excuse me we around the cones in such a way that an exponential curve is formed you're weaving around these cones so that you start you start at a point one meter south of E okay so each square is one uh, one meter by one meter one meter to the south of E so this is E and you're starting at one meter south of E and so the coordinate of this point is 0 comma 5 okay and always above the line y equal to 0 so this which line is called y equal to 0 well the x-axis is called or uh, this line your yeah, y x-axis is called y equal to 0 so you want to move go in an uh, exponential curve that means you're above this x-axis and you're passing through this point which is 0 comma 5 so how will this graph look like so if you are you're going at a hyperbolic the shape would look somewhat like this okay so try let me try to draw as best as possible this is going to infinity and this is this is a decay curve so it goes like this so this is what we want to draw okay and you also okay I forgot this part and you also pass through a point two meters to the left of F so two meters to the left of F two meters to the left of F okay so this is right and this is yeah so this is this point to the left so this the coordinate of this point is this is 1 comma 4 this is 1 comma 4 so the graph the sketch of the graph would look like this it goes like this okay and we want to write the equation of this exponential or it's a decay curve so let me write the general form the general form is this formula would be given in your formula sheet it's a raised to I'll write x plus b b can be negative plus c okay now your y value is always going to be above 0 so what does that mean well that means your c is going to be 0 because your y so let me write it y is always going to be greater than 0 which implies your c is going to be 0 okay so the equation is y is equal to a raised to x plus b plus 0 let me write plus 0 in this step and I'm not going to write plus 0 in the next step okay so that means you can say your equation is y is equal to a raised to x plus b so now we have to find out what is a and what is b so we have got two points 0 comma 5 and 1 comma 4 you've got two points and two unknowns so you can if you've got two equation you can form two equation and then from that you can find the value of a and b you can pause the video and try to do the rest yourself so let me do it fast so if you put this point i can say phi is equal to a raised to a raised to b that's your first equation and if you put this equation I can say 4 is equal to a raised to 1 plus b 1 plus b is your second equation so what can I do I can do say let me do 2 divided by 1 I'm going to divide equation 2 by equation 1 so I can say a a raised to 1 plus b 
divided by a raised to a raised to b is equal to what is a raised to 1 plus b? a raised to 1 plus b is 4 and a raised to b is 5. Okay, so let me scroll this down. So now using laws of indices, this is a raised to 1 plus b, take away b is a raised to 1 or a is equal to 4 divided by b, sorry, 4 divided by 5 is 8 divided by 10 or you can use your calculator. So this is 0 0.8. So which implies your a is 0 0.8. And it does make sense because it's a DK curve. So now we can say, well, your equation is Y is equal to 0 0.8 raised to X plus B. X plus B. So now we know you can put this value back here. So we can say 5. Again, we can put X, Y as 5. 5 is equal to. 0 0.8 raised to b. Now, here is where you have to use the log. Okay. So, now taking log of both sides, I can say log of phi is equal to log of 0 0.8 raised to b. So, now using the log rule, so log of phi, using the log rule, I can say this is b log 0 0.8 and now dividing both sides by log 8 so log 8 and log 8 I can say B so I need to use my calculator so let me go to run so log log phi divided by log of 0 0.8 which is negative 0 0.7, sorry, uh, negative 7.21 in 2 dp, or let me write negative 7.2. So your b is negative 7.2, and that's fine, minus 7.21 if you want to write in 2 dp. So this is in 2 dp. So the final equation is, let me write the final equation here, so y is equal to your a is 0 0.8 raised to x minus 7.21 7.21 okay and let me confirm this it's not exact because you'll not get the exact answer because you're done in a uh, rounding year so let us confirm the answer go to graph and type in the equation 0 0.8 raised to bracket x minus 7.21. Close the bracket. And here is a curve. So G sol, G sol and y intercept. And this is almost phi, isn't it? 0, phi. And when x is, what's the other point? When x is 1, y should be 4. So G sol. When x is 1, y should be about 4, and this is 4. So, our equation is right.